Hey friends, Mars here. Pardon the sleepy face, it's early in the morning, but I thought I would just introduce this short vlog. We're in North Carolina. I'm visiting my bestie, Maria. She's Ninja Chickens. She's got the Ninja Chickens channel here on YouTube. If you haven't already, of course, I recommend you check her out. I will link her podcast below. And we're visiting her home here uh, north of Asheville. And I brought my hubby with me. So it's his first time seeing Maria's amazing home and garden. And we did a bit of a walkabout, checking out all of the cool things here so that he could experience them. It was really, really interesting to see it through his eyes for the first time, even though I've seen some of it before. It never gets old. So enjoy this short vlog. Just uh, a bit of a view of a beautiful place where I love spending time. I hope you are having a good weekend or week, whatever you watch this. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. basically to the edge of the trees okay. and then it goes up if you see the tallest trees back there it goes up to that ridge and then it continues I didn't even realize that's how they, they grow yeah it's actually a sorrow tree that's what we call that but it's the same family it's yeah it's a hibiscus uh, it's not a hibiscus family but it looks very different and this one smell of it the you can use the berries kind of like yes. um, kind of like pepper mm -hmm. but the they're also used medicinally for a lot of women's issues can you do anything with the leaves I've yeah. printed and dyed with them before okay. yeah I've not used them medicinally. we've got but, um, the meringue tree in our yard now where you can eat the leaves uh -huh. and the bark and the seeds have oh, you heard wow. of it I've heard of it but yeah. I've never tried it yeah we have it that now I can dry some leaves for you yeah for sure. And we need them. <laughs> we need the bees. I thought you would like this, Meezy Bear. Maxine is the orange one. She's outside. Solid. And you guys don't have to worry about hurricanes up here. Because, uh, it's not really. I mean, they will come through, but we usually get. Um, I'm just saying. I could live in a cabin. Oh, 
Lion's mane and chicken in the woods. And um, so can you can see right here where these big bumps uh -huh. and right here. I've drilled little holes and I've hammered in these little plugs that have mushroom spores in them. Mm -hmm. So after a certain amount of time, the mushroom spore kind of takes over, eats away at the, the wood and then starts producing. These will probably be the first ones. So I tossed these in the pond. These are the shiitake and they're light enough that I could throw them in the pond and soak them for a couple of days. Yeah. So I'm hoping to get some in the next few months. And the shiitake these. is the, um, that's the prime, um, that's the expensive stuff. Uh, all of these, all of these are, are fairly Premium expensive. mushroom varieties. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, the but all of them also have medicinal properties, mm. which is cool. Mushroom eggs. I just think so it's fun to grow. Was this on your property? This no. Tree? Okay. Oh wait, yes. This is actually a wild cherry tree that was over just over there, and it was starting to lean um, and fall over the the stream. So we took it down, and I'm hoping that that they will do okay in the wild cherry. So it's a cherry tree, and what you smeared on top of it is, is mushroom. beeswax. Is beeswax. The, yeah, this, I, I sealed the holes with beeswax so mm -hmm. that other spores wouldn't try and take over that area that was cut. And what's gonna make the mushroom grow out of it? That's what I hammered into them. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, underneath the wax is a mm -hmm. plug that I hammered in. It's like, gotcha. I don't know, an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. You can see, so this is an old one. You can see where the plugs used to be. Mm -hmm. And those are many years old. Occasionally I'll still get um, a mushroom from them, but they're mostly mostly done. That. This is how you, so this is how you grow shiitake mushroom? You can, yeah. yeah. I'm sure there are some areas where it just grows naturally, mm -hmm. but not really. I, I want to eat that one. Okay. <laughs> you got it. The one that's inside, honey? Look at this one. Oh, you got one. Hold it up. Let me see. It's a... Um, Shin That's pretty cool. Shintanka? Shinting? Wait. Shintakiwa. Wow. Shintakiwa. They're huge. Yes, they are big. They are you don't delicious. get the pest, you know, we get so much pest in Florida. They'll be eating it. What should you see? Spines don't hurt them. They don't? The no. They do rub right off. You know they rub them off before they put them in the store. Yeah, you can just... Okay. So, um, Maria, if we, if we were doing that at, back at home, they'd be all eaten. two varieties this one's a short variety and the other one's a tall one and they have instead of like one or two rows of petals they get they look like teddy bears that's what this I think this one's a teddy bear and there's another one that's they're, they're fuzzy way to help the garden out yeah there's also the squash beetles which look like really big ladybugs except they're But it's specifically a red leafed redbud tree. Most redbuds have green leaves. That one's called the forest pansy. So it has red leaves, and when you print with it, it prints a blue heart. So I had to.
Fiber Mill Tour. This is the Echo Mill, Echo View Fiber Mill and Shop. Some things happening here. I see skeins. That's a chubby skein. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I already love the colors that I saw out front in the shop. Some skein winding is happening. Oh yes. Okay, so I have I've handmade some of them. I'm a, I'm a total convert. I mean, you guys were talking. You and Natalie yep. were talking about this recently. Soap nuts. I just used some in a in a load of laundry the other day. They work pretty good. But like some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. This is all, you know, produced here. Like how cool I've is that? I've never seen that. A wool dish sponge. Yeah. So you you can't use it for like really stuck on greasy stuff, but you can no, use it to. No, but it's because it's already felted. Yeah. Blankets. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> she has bees. She has, you know, a farm basically, so she collects honey. They can produce honey from the owner's bees. That's I see numbers like two, yep. five. Yep, exactly. <laughs> So far from the format we use. <laughs> it really is like a piece of art. Oh. <laughs> the Kelly Cabin Loom. so massive, like it's hard to think of working on something like this. Oh my gosh. Tapestry already started. It's a workshop space upstairs at Echo View. First of all, you're surrounded by all these things that just would inspire you. I've never worked from a cone, have you?